to begin at the beginning. It is spring, moonless night in a small town, starless and Bible black, the cobble streets silent, and the hunched quarters and rabbits wood limping, invisible down to the slow black, slow black, crow black, fish and boat bob and sea. The houses are blind as moles, though moles see fine tonight in the snouting, velvet dingles, or blind as Captain Cat there in the muffled middle by the pump and town clock, the shops in morning, the welfare hall and widow's weed, and all the people of the lulled and dumbfound town are sleeping now. Hush, the babies are sleeping, the farmers, the fishers, the tradesmen and pensioners, Cobbler, school teacher, postman and publican, the undertaker and the fancy woman, drunkard, dressmaker, preacher, policeman, the webfoot cockle woman and the tidy wives. Young girls lie bedded soft, or glide in their dreams with rings and trousseau, bridesmaided by glowworms down the aisles of the organ playing wood. The boys are dreaming wicked, or of the bucking ranches of the night in the Jolly Rogered Sea. And the anthracite statues of the horses sleep in the fields, and the cows in the byres, and the dogs in the wet nose yards, and the cats snap in the slant corners or lope sly, streaking and needling on the one cloud of the woods. You can hear the dew falling, and the hushed town breathing. Only your eyes are unclosed to see the still and folded town fast and slow. You can hear the invisible star fall, the darkest before dawn, minutely do grey stir at the black, doubtful sea, where the Arethusa, the Carlo and the Skylark, Zanzibar, Rhiannon, the Rover, the Cormorant, and the Star of Wales, Tilt and Ride. Listen, it is night moving in the streets. The processional salt, slow musical wind in Coronation Street and Cockle Row. It is the grass growing on Largo Hill, dewfall, starfall, the sleep of birds in Milkwood.